This is Mark, Kilo Mike 6, Zulu Papa Oscar, and I just wanted to show you uh, using Winlink um, with a Digi Rig uh, connected to a Yaesu FTM 200, which is right there. Um, I'm monitoring the sounds with the uh, other radio. So I can turn that down. Um, I've connected to a local station. And then as soon as this goes through, I'm going to tell you how I did this. But um, it's not exactly intuitive um, in any of the settings. And I will say that um, I tried to use sound modem first, and it didn't work. Um, also had some power issues with the one of the USB um, ports on this old computer. So your results may vary with the Digi Rigs, but that has really nothing to do with the Yaesu. Um, so as you can see, I... I'm receiving a message, so I sent this message via email to my um, KM6ZPO at winlink.org account, and you can see the traffic over here in the Direwolf settings, uh, or the, not settings, but the live data going back and forth. So um, as this finishes up, I'm just going to show you the settings inside of um, Direwolf that were important. You know, of course you're going to select at the top of the uh, the configurations here you're going to pick your a device so mine happens to be zero and one that matches up with the sig the, the digi rig yours may be different also a device is usb those are the only two things at the top of the configuration so it'll be a little different for your direwolf settings then down 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 in the settings you got to look for um let's see the PTT settings right here okay so PTT COM4 RTS the COM4 matches with COM4 here um, that's the Digi Rigs COM port all right um, and then uh, let's see let's just check and see if this message came through right there's the message that I sent to myself a little while ago, and it's been it was received by the um, the ASU. Now, I haven't quite figured out um, why it, it it you know which one of these bands it's supposed to be on. I think it's supposed to be B, but um, when it was just now transmitting, and I can let me just confirm this real quick. Um, let's see which one it's transmitting on. See, the interesting thing is that it's transmitting on the A-band, but in the settings, I'll show you, the data band is actually set to B. So to do this right, I actually had to have them both set. And um, you'll notice both of these are gonna light up. So which one is coming through? Well, the active channel, you would think, right? But, um, you know, it just, it didn't work when I had it separated. So when I set them both, A and B, to the same channel, that works. And, you know, as you can see, it's it's going through again. Um, and if you, you know, you can you can listen to the, the transmission if you want to. Uh, it's just squawk, 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 you know. So that's what it'll sound like. But you don't need, you don't need to. You can just turn that down. Um... Okay, the other part that you need to look at is holding down the F key and get into the uh, COM port. I used Packet, and that was really the only change. Um, let's see, so the data band, I, I mentioned that I used the B band, but it still seemed to be transmitting on the A band, even though, uh, that's kind of weird. The data speed, I set uh, data to 9600, and data squelch TX on. Uh, and that's it, you know, and you know have the have the correct frequency now this this um, Station is is about 10 miles away. I don't need to run this at 50 watts. I could run it at 5 watts So I have the transmit power down to low which I think is going to help um, To not cause interference with the cable That could have been one of the USB issues because you know you you pump a bunch of power around these things and they're bound to um to cause issues that just just the power of the radio can cause issues with USB cables so that's it um, it works I got the cable on Amazon it's one of DigiRig's cables um, it's the one that's made for an FTM 
they call it FTM 300, but it's the same. Um, I took a gamble. I looked at the pinout diagrams and I realized they're identical. I looked at the menus on the radio and realized they're identical. So I took a gamble. The FTM 300 cable made by DigiRig on Amazon.com works just fine. All right, that's it for now. KM6 ZPO out.